redzonesports.bet, the British home of American sports. Washington Redskins and the Kansas City Chiefs, the undefeated Kansas City Chiefs. Only two teams left, one in the AFC, one in the NFC, with the undefeated mark. But the Washington Redskins getting better each and every week. As a matter of fact, Kirk Cousins was the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. But you know, let's let's jump on this with this Kansas City team. 3-0, and oh, Andy Reid has these guys playing. But you look at Kansas City versus so many other teams, very strong in offense, very strong in defense, but also they haven't forgot about making sure that they are strong in special teams. Yeah, and you know, and how many teams are really solid on both sides of the ball first off and then add the special teams? Mm -hmm. With Tyreek Hill, you, you, you've got a return guy who's always a threat to take it all the way. They've got a good punter, which means they win the game of field position, possession uh, most of the time. Mm -hmm. And their kicker, Santos, you know, is, is no one really pays much attention to him, but he's been very effective for them. So you're, you're absolutely right. They've got all facets of the game covered. And I, I, there's only a handful of teams in the NFL that can say that. They talk about that, uh, you know, efficiency that the, this Washington Redskins defense is supposed to be the third most efficient defense in the National Football League. But then they're up against Kareem Huck and that um, Kansas City offense, 162 yards a game, which is number one running the football. This is going to be a, a really fascinating matchup because you saw how well um, Greg Minuski, the defensive coordinator in Washington, game planned against Oakland with the 3-4 defense he's put in. And they did a great job. You mentioned Jonathan Allen when we were talking about rookies. They drafted well. They signed a couple of low-profile free agents, but guys who were good fits up front for a 3-4 defense. So they're very, very solid in, in that defense. And he game planned against Oakland really well. Kansas City is going to be a lot harder to game plan for, but it's going to be a great matchup because Andy Reid will be looking at that that tape of what they did and trying to figure out ways of working around that. A lot of play action, probably a lot of guys crossing through the middle, a lot of backs out of the backfield. And uh, Minuski is going to have to come up with a solution for that. Oakland, Oakland will, I'm uh, sorry, Kansas City will be able to defend, will be able to pass block pretty well. Mm -hmm. And Alex Smith has been very good this season at getting out of the pocket without getting into trouble. But if you can keep him in the pocket, when he steps forward, that's when he makes bad passes. When he's trying to avoid the rush, he gets his balance all wrong. He becomes inaccurate. If you, if you let him out to the side, he's fine. A couple of steps sideways, and he's, he's accurate again. Why is it everyone always is on Alex Smith? I mean, Alex Smith could be playing super football, but it's, you know, Kansas City is great, but it's all about what is Alex Smith going to do to ruin it? Two, two reasons. One, and one applies to Andy Reid as well. Mm -hmm. They win a lot of games. They're consistently good. They've never won the big one. Okay, so that, that's like point number one. Point yep. number two, specifically with Alex Smith, is he's not really a deep ball thrower. Okay. Now, he's better than, say, Andy Dalton, who's similar in kind of reputation mm -hmm. and, and style. But the, the book is what you do is you try to stop the short pass. You try to make Alex Smith take the extra time to wind up and throw deep, and you will beat Kansas City. And I suspect that's what Washington's going to try to do. You know, last year, you know, the Washington Redskins, they picked up Josh Norman. This year, they picked up D.J. Swanger. So it seems like their defense, their back line, getting tougher, stronger, more physical back there. Yeah, and, and they want to be able to man cover on the outside. Now, the thing with Kansas City is that the wide receivers aren't the biggest threat to you. I mm -hmm. mean, where their big threats come are out of the backfield, depending on where Tyreek Hill lines up. But, yep. you know, but usually he'll be in the slot or he might be coming out of the backfield. Hunt is the same thing. And Kelsey at tight end is, go is going to be running the shorter patterns, trying to bake, uh, beat you on the seam. But that means your corners are man on, man on out guys like Albert Wilson, say, who you, pr you pretty much don't think are going to beat you. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, some teams, you've seen it done playing the Patriots, that Denver did that a couple of years ago. You put a cornerback on Gronkowski, say. I would not be adverse to putting Josh Norman on Jason Kelsey. Let him man cover the tight end and see how that works. And then, you know, maybe play a nickel or maybe uh, move, a, move a safety to cover on a wide receiver or play zone back there. And th that's the kind of twists you, I expect they might be willing to try. I, I, 
on, on the other hand, I might be a little surprised, but you're kind of wasting your, your good corners if they're not covering the other team's biggest threats. The Kansas City Chiefs, third in total yards. Kansas City Chiefs, third in point score, dropping 31 a game. But these Washington Redskins last week held the Oakland Raiders to 128 yards, a team that's in that West. Who do you see surviving this one? At offense of Kansas City, defense of the Washington Redskins? I think the offense can survive. Mm -hmm. um, it, again, as, like I say, it's a chess game. It's going to be a very interesting chess game. But because they have those secondary weapons, you know, do you have someone who can cover Tyreek Hill man to man, or are you going to sit in zone because mm -hmm. he can outrun you if you're in if you're in man? If you sit in zone, Kelsey can can tear you apart. If Reed game plans well, Kansas City is going to get the points. Even if they stop them defensively, what you talked about, special teams, short fields, things like that, turnovers, can really help. They miss Eric Reed in the back end, but at home, again, I, I mean, there are some games where you just think the home advantage is enough on its own to carry these two pretty evenly matched teams. So wonder, Kansas yeah, City. Wonder if the Kansas City Chiefs will remain the only undefeated team in the AFC. I'm Kevin Cato. He's Mike Carlson, the guru. We also want to thank Red Zone Sports from the team at Sports Heads. We thank you as well. And remember, if you want to get ahead in sports, check in to Sports Heads. RedZoneSports.bet, the British home of American sports. <laughs>to us on YouTube, but you can also hit us on Twitter, Instagram. We would love to hear from you. We're trying to take the program from next level to next level to next level. Enjoy.